Welcome to the Operation Research. In this video, we are going to see the introduction to the Operation Research. Topic level objective for this video are, at the end of this topic, you should be able to understand the definition, meaning, purpose of Operation Research. Understand the OR through one example. Describe the history of Operation Research. Describe the stages or phases of an OR. List the various tools and techniques used in OR and explain the application of an operation research. So being a manager in an organization, you have to often take various decisions like how do I allocate my resources so that I will get the maximum profit? Should I replace this machine or continue using it? What should be the my next move to beat my competitors? Should I invest in this new project or not? Where do I locate my next plant or outlet? When should I start working on this project if I want to launch the pilot project after exactly one month? So these are the few questions a manager deals every day. And how do he get answers to these questions? One way is a guesswork and other way is to use the scientific approach. So OVAR gives you a more scientific approach to take the decisions for the questions like this. So what is an operation research? Operation research is a discipline that deals with the application of advanced analytical methods to help make better decisions. Now what is an operation? What do I mean by operations? These are the activities carried out in an organization. What is a research? It is a process of observation and testing characterized by the scientific methods. In operation research, we are going to use the word model very often so model is an abstract representation of a reality in terms of mathematical or physical or narrative or even a set of rules in a computer program so we are going to convert real life problems into some mathematical model so what is the definition of an operation research it is the application of scientific and specially mathematical methods to the study and analyze the problems involving the complex system. Operation research is often concerned with determining the maximum, right? So what we want to maximize, that is we want to maximize the profit, we want to maximize the performance or we want to maximize the yield and whatever we want to minimize. So we minimize losses, risk and cost, right, of some real world objectives. It uses the scientific approach in the management of an organization. So as I told earlier that we are dependent on scientific approach and not on the casework. So let us see this approach with the help of one example. So traveling salesman problem is one of the very wonderful problem in the field of an operation research. So what is that problem? A traveler needs to visit all the cities from a list where the distance between all the cities are known and each city should be visited just once. What is the shortest possible route that he visits each city exactly once and return to the original city? So this is our salesman who wish to visit the cities A, B, C, D and the distance between all the cities is given. Now the condition is that he should start with A and he should visit to the, all the cities with whatever order and come back to the original city the only condition is that you should select the shortest possible route so that the cost of travel will be minimum so what is the solution for this problem right so though solution looks to be very very easy right right with the example of an uh, brute force approach right it is not so because it is one of the most notorious problems for the computational world. Now, if we go and evaluate all the permutations and combinations, right, right, we will get some n minus 1 factorial number of possible solutions to this, right, and that is one of the very basic approach to solve this problem. So, what is this brute force approach? So, what we are going to do we will calculate all the permutation and combinations which are possible uh, with this problem. So the first 
permutation is he will start traveling from city A, he will visit city B, then he will, he will visit city C and he will go to city D and come back to city A, right? So this is one permutation, right? Which he can take. Now there could be some other permutations like he will start from city A and he will go to the B. Now instead of C, he will go to the D, right? And then he will go to the C and come back to the A. What could be the other approaches? So he could, he again will start with A and he will go to the C, B, D, A, right? There will be more options. So he will start with A, C, D, B, A and there could be one more approach like A, D, B, C, A and the last one is A, D, C, B, A. So in total for four number of cities, I got six number of options. Now let us try to calculate the distance for each of these options. So we, if we calculate the distance for each of these options, we get these values. Now you can see that the 97 is the minimum number is the minimum distance he need to travel. So if he selects A, B, C, D, A or A, D, C, B, A, both are nothing but one and the same. He will have to take the minimum distance. So the solution is A, B, C, D, A. Now while calculating all this, we have taken the scientific approach and we calculated all the values and came to the solution. Now, but it is not always possible to calculate this kind of an or take this kind of an approach because for four number of cities, the number of possibilities were six. If there are, let us say, 10 number of cities, number of possibilities will become 362880. If I have 15 number of cities, the possibilities will become this much big, which is even hard for me to read out. And for 20 number of cities, it will become practically impossible to calculate even with computers. Right. So what should we do? Then there are various algorithms right or various other approaches by which we can solve this problem and one of the most simple such approach is the nearest city approach now what i am going to do in this approach i will start with a and i will look for the city with minimum distance so what is the nearest city which i want to visit now now if you look at the diagram so from a the nearest city is your b so i will go to the b from B now, I will look around and I will see what is the most nearest city. I will not go back to the A, but I have option of C or D. Now out of this C and D, this C looks to be the most nearest city to me. So I will go to C and from C, I will go to D because I don't have much option now and I will come back to the A. You can see that it is giving me the same result as we calculated with the uh, approach earlier right so this approach may give you a optimum solution hmm? sometimes but it, it will not give you a guarantee that it will give you a solution here is the city approach is one of the approach to solve this kind of an problem people have come up with various approaches like simple branch and bound algorithm so what is the algorithm algorithm is the tip to get the solution for a problem so there are various solutions provided by different people and who are deals with such a solutions. If we look at the history of NOR, it is very interesting. Operation research is relatively a new discipline. Origin of NOR OR is often attributed to the military services early in the World War II. Because of the World War efforts, there was an urgent need to allocate the scale resources to the various military operations and to activate and to the activities within each operations for, in an effective manner. So here is in one video you can see for getting more insight about the history of an war. Then there are various phases in an operation research. So when whenever we study an OR, we have to go through the various phases so that we will get the optimum solution. 
the first phase is to define the problem of interest and gather the relevant data the second step would be to formulate a mathematical model to represent a problem that is to convert a real life problem into some mathematical form then uh, develop a computer based procedure for driving solutions to the problems from the model we have to make use of computer for this purpose test the model and refine as needed right so we have to test it and make refinements as needed prepare for ongoing applications of model as prescribed by the management and finally to implement it we are going to use various tools and techniques for making a better decisions so these are the various tools and techniques that we are going to see throughout this course let us see what are the applications of an operation research the most important application of an operation research is to allocate and resources in a project second thing is for production and facility planning it is the best decision making tool it can be used for marketing it is used in organizational behavior in finance and in research and development and of course there are many more applications that we will see in this course for more details you can watch the video which is available in the description section thank you